Hello everyone. Yes, yes. I told you I would be back with our cutouts. We went from the 4th of July, we did Halloween, now we're going to do fall, and I assure you I will do Christmas. So, let's go ahead and let's do this one together. And I have cut some others out off camera, and I'll put those together as well, and you'll see everything that's done for my, for my uh, decorating this fall. A lot of you have already seen me do this, but for any of my new subbies, hello, welcome. I'm so happy you're with my family on YouTube. And I am going to get started. First of all, I'm going to decide what part I want cut and what part I'm going to back this with because this is going to be a stand-up. So, I have my scissors, I have my glue, I have some embellishments that I'm going to use to embellish her a little bit, some glitter, but right now what we have to decide is what all is going to be on the cardboard. So I'm going to cut her out and I'm going to cut the apple basket with her. I'm not going to cut the desk because the desk would just be out in midair. So I'm just going to go around and cut out all of this, just omitting this part but the rest of it will be cut out. I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera, and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So now I'm almost done cutting this out, and I just thought I'd come back and just talk to you while I'm cutting out this little piece that's left. Then we'll go ahead and we'll trace it like we always do onto the cardboard. And like I said, I already cut out some others that I'm going to use, but you'll see those as I put them together. But for you that have seen what I've done with these in my Halloween and uh, Fourth of July decor, they really do add a cute piece of decoration. And like I said, you're not going to get your choice if you go to the store and you're definitely not going to get as a rule not always but as a rule as big as these are and you can even make them bigger the choice is yours okay so she's almost done I just want to cut a little bit more in detail this part right here So now, I'm just going to take my cereal box and trace. You know, I have an idea for these, uh, some new ones for next year. I'm already thinking next year, guys. Can you believe that? Honestly, I am. I've already written a few things down in my planner what I want to make next year for Halloween and uh, fall and Christmas. I mean, I can only do so many things each year, and I don't want to do everything. I mean, because each year you want to see something else, right? So, yeah, I'm already looking into that, and I'm already looking into Valentine's. <laughs> uh, I know you don't want to hear this as far as... Uh, you got to be kidding, Davida. We're not even done with Halloween. I'm just saying as a creator, I have to look beyond. I mean, in retail, they're looking at stuff right now. They're looking at stuff for summer. We just got out of summer. But they're already looking into summer what to buy. This is what I mean. You have to really be ahead of the game. Especially if you want to bring content to uh, your YouTube channel. And I don't always look at what's in. I mean, yes, sometimes I do, of course. But sometimes it's just what I like, and I share it. And if you like it, that's great. If you don't, I get it, you know. All right, so now that's cut out. So I'm going to start cutting this, 
I'm sure you don't want to waste your time watching this. And then once I get this all cut out, we'll come back, glue her on, and start embellishing. Okay, so she's cut out, and I'm going to take my glue stick and get that glue. And a glue stick really is the best, and I've said this before. Again, this is for people maybe that have just uh, watched me do this for the first time. And I go in bits as a rule only because I want to get it centered the right way. I take the time to make sure because once I ink it, I mean, I want it to be placed right, you know. Hope you guys are doing good. Today over here in California, oh, the weather is beautiful. Oh, couldn't be happier. Okay, we're almost done there. All right, put this away. And then I just make sure that everything is glued down. Looks like this isn't completely, yeah. Um, Look how cute. She's going to look cute where I have, where I'm planning to sit her. Okay, now you can go back and you can look and see if you need to trim up your cardboard like right here. See there? I'm going to trim that up a little bit. Now I wouldn't have to since I'm going to go ahead and ink all the way around the edges. I wouldn't necessarily have to, but I just want it to be a little bit more flush to the picture so that's why I'm doing it you don't have to I mean it's not gonna make or break the deal you know <laughs> it's really starting to feel like fall which I absolutely adore so if you have all these cut out say you printed all of them one night and then um, the next night you cut them out and then the next night you put them on your cereal box cardboard whatever you have you know what I, this could be a process that you do everything and it could be that you do your fall and Christmas ones or whatever the case may be that you're wanting to do but once you get these cut out and you get them glued on to their cardboard it doesn't take long at all because it just depends on what you want to do with it after if you want to go ahead and embellish or just leave them exactly like they are and that would be perfectly fine too. I like letting that ink go onto the picture a little bit. See where I put the black up here? And if my lighting's a little bit bad, I'm sorry because it's a little bit cloudy today, but I think it's still okay. should have my dauber that I put on my finger, but that's okay. I don't want to ink her face too much because she's got a cute little face. Okay, now let's see what we want to do to embellish. I'm thinking, and again, and here's what I'm going to use to prop her up and use for my easel. Remember how we cut that little long part on the cereal box? Um, I'm thinking, do I want to add this little bit of trim from Hobby Lobby? Not sure. It would be cute around her. That's what I'm going to do for sure. That's cute. Like little anklets. Oh, that's really cute. I like that. I'm 
I'm going to use that twine for her bow. What else? Do I want to put a little of this gold right here on the pie crust? I think so. And a little bit down here and on the apple. I'm going to put a tiny little bit of blue. Real little, because I don't want it to buckle. And I'm only doing little pieces of the apples, not all of it. I just think that it adds a little bit, you know. Can you see it? Yeah, I like that. Then I'll come back with a little bit of orange over here and do I want to do anything? Okay, so she's done. And all I did with her is I added the glitter to the apples and to the pie. And then I took a little piece of this trim, really it's just jute, and tied that in a bow. And then put a little bit of trim down here for her anklets. I'm not going to do anything to this, it just didn't look right. So there she is, and she is going to, uh, and then I put the easel back here, out of the cardboard, so she could stand. So she's going to look really cute where I want to put her. So, I'll be back to show you the rest of them in just a minute. Okay, so what I did is I put the rest on their cardboard, put on what I wanted to put on as far as trim, which was very much nothing, except a little bit of glitter and a little bit of trim on that little one's socks, and I'll show you. Oh, shoot me. Sorry. Um, okay, so this one now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to ink him around the edges. It really does give it a finished look. So that is one thing I do with all of them. But you got to have a turkey, right? Okay, so he'll go somewhere. How cute, huh? This one, too. I love it. He's looking at the chicken. <laughs> it's not even turkey. Chicken's going, dude, you got the wrong kind. Okay, there's that one. And her. And there's where the little trim comes in. Isn't she cute? And she is going to go by my faux pumpkin pie. And I'm sure I will have that video up before I put this one up. So I'll put her by that and you'll see it. Okay. Alright, so let's get all these together so you can see what I've done. Here we go. Here's the big one. There she is. Here's another one.
And here's this guy. And there is my turkey. All from the printer glued onto cereal boxes. And it makes an adorable, cute addition to your decor. So guys, I hope that you will do this, especially my new subscribers. And until our next DIY, remember the world's a better place because you're in it. Don't ever, ever forget that. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.